Right, so you've just hit the play button, and if you're anything like me, you're thinking, this knot is absolute garbage. Which is what I thought for many, many years now. I'll be honest here, this knot proved me wrong. And if you watch this video, it'll certainly get you trying a new knot that you may not have tied before. You'll also notice something new here that I will be introducing that I'm really, really excited about. I've got access to a 4K, two and a half thousand times magnification microscope that has photo stacking capability. The video capture and the photos are off the scale. So I'll give you a little taster of that later on. Fishing episode 4 the world's strongest fishing knot where we're aiming to test every single fishing knot there is to find out which is the strongest based on rigorous testing and lots of line weights and line types so there I was three weeks ago filming the how-to on the slim beauty knot not only was I taking the mick with the Aussie slang but thinking I could guess which variant would perform well well this is me putting my hands up three big mistakes I made in that video. Not only did I guess the wrong variant, that would be the strongest, I also, in true fashion of any South African, stroke suffer, try to <laughs> take the mick out of an Aussie accent and an Aussie knot. And this is the big bit. This knot totally blew the competition away in certain categories. Stay tuned as I unpack and look at test samples, testing data, and very, very important tips on how to achieve maximum strength with this knot. Okay, so let's settle this debate, which is it? Double the braid line and overwrap it, or use a single piece of braid line and overwrap it. Let's take a look at two main variants quickly for a 50 pound braid to 50 pound mono connection. These are the results for a 50 pound with single line where I opted to overwrap it myself 10 wraps up and 10 wraps down. And check this out, can you believe it? That is incredible. A doubled up piece of braid absolutely transforms this knot. All the results later on both mono and fluoro braid connections were tied using a doubled piece of braid line. Right, let's take a look at some testing samples. The first sample is 100 pound mono to 100 pound mono. You'll notice the knot fell in a very familiar place. This is the same area as all clinch knots fail. The rear of the clinch knot where the line turns and draws back inside itself. You can also see on this sample which we stopped just before it fails at about 75 pounds a load. This is taken at 30 times magnification you can see how the rear end of the knot constricts so tightly around the other line on the inside. It really scuffs up the surface and fully deforms the outer surface of the monofilament. Right, sample two, this is a 100 pound braid to a 100 pound mono with a single piece of braid with 10 wraps up and 10 wraps down. You'll see as the sample breaks, it is in the back of the clinch knot again. You will see the braid cut into itself very easily in this region. The braid really does cut itself up here. Right, sample three. This is 100 pound braid to 100 pound mono again with a doubled up piece of braid with eight wraps up and eight wraps down. If you look closely here, you will see how the doubled up line helps prevent the braid from slicing through itself at the back of the knot. Remarkable, really. This also shows the top end of the knot at 20 times magnification. The one line is acting as a cushion here and the other is taking the brunt of the load. Right, enough of that. Let's take a look at all the results. If you're watching one of our testing videos for the first time, welcome by the way. And just remember, all the wrap counts in the world's strongest fishing knot tables are verified. Any suggested wrap counts in our how-to videos are only based on my best advice at the time. Right, let's dig in, mono to mono. Let's see how this knot got on. Don't forget to pause if you need time to look at the results in more detail.
grates him on a filament, let's dig in. Let's see how the braid behaved within this knot. fluorocarbon. Let's take a look. Overall results, let's take a look, mono to mono, were my high hopes, short lived, let's check it out. 57.42% and jumping straight into second spot. Well, the knots off to a great start. Okay, break to mono, let's take a look. Oh my gosh, 75.88%, straight to first place here. That is incredible, totally gobsmacked to say the least. Who would have thought these results were even possible with the clinch knot involved? And finally, Bray to Bureau Carbon, let's take a look. Are you kidding me? 82.21%, what? Another first place, but this time by a country mile. Don't forget, these results are based on seven line-to-line -line categories, and it's an average of 6% in front. Now that is a ripper. Man, I'm still trying to get my head around that, that this Aussie knot is not only slim, but it's absolutely freaking strong as well. Can you believe that? Right, tips and tricks, these are really important. And this is where, if you're a sapper, we get to take it back to the Aussies in style. And yes, I was humble enough to apologize earlier, but as a true sportsman, I get to have the last laugh. Check this first tip out. Right, tip number one, just tie a double overhand knot and thread the line through or tie a two wrap uni knot. Right, going back to the results, you would have noticed on the 10 pound mono to braid category and all the fluorocarbon to braid categories, I said to use a three wrapped uni knot or a triple overhand knot. In every single Slim Beauty video on YouTube and all the Google sites, it says tie a double overhand knot. Well. This knot under extreme load for all these categories slips. And if you don't tie a triple overhand knot, it's game over. <laughs> yes, I'm glad a South African had to tell an Aussie how to tie his beloved Slim Beauty knot. Look, joking aside, testing a fishing knot in a controlled environment with set parameters using many line categories and combinations will ultimately give us a resource that pushes hearsay to one side and verified data to the forefront. Tip number two, if you want to tie a good line to line knot, get yourself a pair of bars to tighten the knot with and test it. Braid line is just too sharp to achieve a satisfactory knot hand tightened. I'd strongly suggest anything 30 pounds or more needs a pair of bars on it. It really makes a massive difference. Right, tip number three, don't forget a double uni knot or a double overhand knot with the line threaded through the holes is in fact the exact same knot. If you're unsure, watch our how-to tutorial on this fishing knot. Click right up here for that, as I went over this in a lot of detail. Right, tip number four, how to cinch this knot up with braid involved, right. So you either tied a double or a triple uni knot in the leader material, then did eight wraps up and eight wraps back down with the doubled up piece of braid, then tuck through, then straighten the knot out a little, check the uni knot is snug, then get your bars. 
wrap the main line and the tag end around one bar and wrap the leader line around the other bar and add some saliva. Then tighten down as hard as you can without snapping the line. Now, that's all cinched up. You can just check the leader line is in the correct form and nice and tight. So look, I see you eyeing out that double loop. Don't touch it, stop it. I know it's tempting to think, I'll just give this a little tug. Don't, I've tested this. If you tighten this end of the knot, the braid that is under tension now has an additional area that is really tight and damages and cuts itself down at the bottom end of the knot. And in fact, it failed a lot easier when this was done time and time again. Right, tip number five, uniform wraps. Aim to keep the braid wraps as uniform as possible in the same plane without crossing. Ideally, you want to keep the line under tension away from itself. I know it's difficult on the thinner lines to see this. Basically, try to maximize the cushion effect that acts as a barrier between the loaded line and the line that is acting as a guardian. Right, let's wrap this up. Why is this not so strong? Doubling the braid line is certainly the trick here for this particular knot. And the way it works, let's take a look under the microscope, literally. Okay, this is 20 times magnification. Can you see one of the braid lines is light and the other line is dark? The darker is the main line and the other is the folded over line, or as I call it, the support line or the guardian line. Right, 40 times magnification. And it's doing just that. As these lines are wrapped around the leader line, the one under less attention becomes the cushion for its counterpart. Okay, 80 times magnification. How awesome is that? You can now see clearly that the one line is really tightly compacted and the other line much less so. Okay, check this out. 200 times magnification. So right, you can see my saliva up close and on the monofilament. See how it coats the line. You can also see how the small braid fibers are very, very tightly compact and a couple have actually failed. You can also see the necking on the monofilament line where the braid under tension has actually changed the diameter of the line. And finally, you can also see how some of the dye from the braid has been left on the monofilament line. Hope you enjoyed that. Look, I was surprised by the results as you are right now. This knot really does fly, especially on fluorocarbon and braid. This is where the knot gets interesting. If I said to you, what about putting a Bimini twist into the Slim Beauty knot? How strong will that be? Or will it actually create more problems as now we have lost this cushion effect as both lines are under the same applied force? Testing knots is really, really important. I would never have expected that result. But for now, we have the strongest braid to mono and braid to fluoro, line to line, fishing knot and not only that it's easy to tie and it's super slim if you're fishing with say 30 pound line i think you'll struggle to even feel the knot during a cast look this may or may not be an aussie knot but it definitely packs a mighty punch if you tie correctly you will not be disappointed slim beauty who would have thought oh my gosh still gobsmacked tight lines and take care and until next time stay tight and stay toy cheers guys and girls see you later